Sometimes we struggle to carve time out for meditation. And if we struggle to do it ourselves, how much more so for our kids? To add to that, it's not always the easiest thing to know how to get our children involved in mindfulness activities. My name is Nanette. Thank you for watching today. I studied to be a teacher years ago. I've been in the field of special needs and particularly autism for the past 15 years. And I'm also a mother to three young children myself. So today I want to share with you a few games that our kids enjoy being part of. And while we are enjoying these games, they are also working on learning to be mindful at the same time without even being aware of it. Those are the best activities and games where our kids are learning and they don't even know that they're learning something really important and valuable that's going to help them later on and in other environments and scenarios as well. So these are all games that we can do with our children if we like, and that also provides some mindfulness time for us then at the same time. So that's, that's a bonus for us and for our kids. I've also found that with my own children, they love when I do these activities with them. It's not quite the same for them when they do it on their own or just between the three of them, but they really enjoy these activities when I do it with them. So it is something that, that I would encourage you to go and give a go with your children. So let's think of a few activities that we can combine with our daily tasks that we are already doing. As we've mentioned before, we know we're all busy. It's often a rush going from one activity or school to the next. And we want to, as far as we can, as much as we can, use activities and tasks that we are already doing every day and turn those into opportunities to even practice something such as mindfulness. So the first one that I want to share with you, and this is something fun, but also really easy to do. And we all do it every single day. Mindful eating. When you have your lunch today or when you're sitting together around the dinner table tonight, try and focus on what the food smells like, the textures, what it feels like, what it looks like. Is it crunchy when you chew on it? And if it is, what does that sound like even as you're chewing? What does this food that you're eating really taste like? Try and find the more subtle tastes as well and encourage your children to do that too. And then of course, we've got the more obvious tastes too. Those will often be easier for our kids and for ourselves. You'd be quite surprised if you, if you start focusing on this, but it's, it's often easy to determine what the more obvious tastes are, but what are the more subtle ones? And that, it really takes some effort to become more aware and tune into those tastes, those textures, what it feels like, what it looks like even. Do this activity when you're having your next meal together and see what you can come up with. And then you'll also be really surprised to see how you and your children improve as you continue with these activities. Next time, there will be something else that you notice. The next time, the following time, there will be something that you notice easier or something new that one of the kids might pick up. But try and do this during a meal. And I'm really excited for you to see how this goes with you and your children. Then the second one, mindful walks. And this is one of our favorites. We always share this with our families and it's something that our kids really enjoy doing. So next time you go on a short walk or when you go on a short walk with your children, it can even be walking home after school or walking to school in the morning, or walking when you're going shopping, or wherever it is, it doesn't matter. Spending time in nature is always a good idea, but if that's not possible right now, wherever you are, and if you can't go on a walk, take a few minutes to do this activity. But make sure when you're going on this walk, you've got your mindful hat on. Perhaps that can just be a metaphor, or other times it might actually be useful, especially for our kids too to have a special hat or a special backpack that they use for their mindful walks. So when you go on this walk, you're going to tune into different things that you can see, things that you can hear, perhaps what does it sound like when your feet walk on the, what is it? Is it gonna be the sand, dirt, in the water perhaps, splashing in a puddle? What does it sound like? What does it really 
feel like. Not only I splashed with my bare feet in a puddle and it's wet, but really tuning into that more, slowing down, tuning it down a little bit and focusing on it's cold. I can feel the, the cold water in between my toes. There's some sand at the bottom of this puddle, perhaps some leaves. What does that feel like? And encouraging our children to become more aware of those little things that we so often just walk over and not even notice. You could also, perhaps it's for some children, for some of our kids, it might be too much to do a mindful walk and try being mindful all the time. You can just dedicate a minute or two during your walk on that being your mindful part of your walk. But this is a super fun activity and really good for us to do as well. And then the next one is, it's more like a game. It's not really an activity that you would do every day, but it's one of my kids' absolute favorite ones. So I want to share that with you. And we call it, guess what you've got. And for this one, you're going to take any pillowcase or a bag that you can't see through and put a few random items inside this pillowcase or bag. It should be something that your kids are familiar with at least, you take turns. One child puts their hand into the bag, they feel or grab an item first and then try and feel what it is. So now we're tuning into, what does that feel like? What can I think of that perhaps if it feels like this, then, then surely it must look like and they start to form a picture and then try and guess what it is that they grabbed out of the bag without looking. And you take turns and it's really interesting. Some they get right really easily and very quickly and others take a little bit more time, which is really good. That's where we want to get to. Of course, as they become familiar with the, with the activity, change up the items, put new things in, take old things out and make sure that you keep challenging them to become more mindful to tune into those different senses more and more. Please let us know how you go with these games and everyday activities. And we would love to, if you've got some activities that you can share with us and other parents, let us know in the comment section so that we can try those out too. And we'll let you know how we go with them. Thank you.